It's gonna be a demonstration of the Tesla phone app on an Android device. This device particularly being a Pixel XL. See right off the bat, it opens up on your car's main page. Gives you all your quick stats here. So then R says Model 3, that's just, you can name your car to say whatever you name it. How many miles you have on your car currently. Uh, the fact that right now we are currently charging in our time until we hit our set point. Uh, visual indication, it will show you if your doors are open, if your trunk's open. In this case, it's showing that the charger is plugged in. We have a green light, meaning we're charging. Uh, shortcuts to your heating and air. Uh, the keys is basically a remote start and or keyless driving is another term they use for it. And then the lock and unlock to uh, lock and unlock your car remotely. And luckily a uh, confirmation for you go and unlock it remotely in your pocket. And then your other uh, five tabs here, you got your phone key, whether you're connected or not via Bluetooth. For Model 3, if you're worried about your phone being too close to your car, where you park it and they'll say the car is outside your driveway and your bedroom's right by there. It's a good way, easy check to see if you actually can be interfering there. <clears throat> uh, climate control, you can go in there, it shows you right here what your interior climate is. You can go and turn it on and it shows you indication that it's starting to blow air in and what temperature, so blue and it gets cold air. You can turn it up. So white, just more like fan and then red hot. So we'll knock it back to where we where we like to leave it, turn that back off. Controls. More of the same, so you can lock and unlock here. Flash your lights or honk your horn. That's good for uh, superchargers or somewhere else if you got somebody looking around or putting their hands all over your car, trying to look inside. You can honk your horn at them from across the street and people will quickly move on. Uh, again, the remote keyless driving, uh, front trunk, oddly not called the frunk on here, and a trunk, open and close, or open only on the Model 3, open and close on the Model S or an X. Uh, valet mode, you can enable valet mode from here, which limits the speed that a valet can go, the amount of uh, power they can accelerate at, and locks your glove box and your front trunk. So that's a good thing to have when you're not the one driving your car. Go back one more time. Next one here, charging. So this gives you how much time you have left. You can adjust here how full you want the battery to go. Uh, shows you your rate, your voltage, amperage that you're set at. You cannot adjust the amperage uh, limit on the app, but you can do that within the car. Uh, here you can just change the how full you want your battery to go. And you can also manually stop and stop, stop and start your charging. And then lastly down there is location. It shows you where your car currently is. Uh, which we're not going to go to right now. and But when you're in that mode, you can also see when the car, if you're not the one driving, you can see where the car is, how fast it's going, your location to the car, and it shows you based on a Google map. Um, little treasure box up there, it's just a referral program. So if you run into people who are looking to buy a Model X or an S, there's discount codes here. This one that uh, people get free supercharging and $500 off their, at least the first use of your code. And this is just a way for you to track where you're at. You can also share that with people and they can uh, sign up to rest the semi, race the semi truck, which is kind of a cool new feature that just came out. We'll talk more about that another time. Settings here, you can turn on different cars. So we also have another Model S here, the Model X. Uh, you can turn your loot box. Another shortcut to there. Uh, you can set your notifications for what you want to hear about. Um, so ping us when you got your security alarm. So your charge has been started, interrupted. You can turn these on and off. Software updates is another good one to have. Summons. Uh, not available on the 3 as of this recording, but for the RS it is. Uh, fingerprint authors, authorization. Authentication. There we go. And uh, counter sync. Also not on 3 yet, but... All those features are coming in due time. So there you have it. That's kind of a big summary walk down of what to expect with your Model 3 or S or X and the Tesla app. They all pretty much look the same. And that's it.